The name Winnipesaukee is derived from a Native American word meaning smile of the great spirit. Located less than 100 miles from Boston, Lake Winnipesaukee is known for its crystal clear water, abundant wildlife, and awe-inspiring scenery. Commercial boating on Winnipesaukee began with the horse boat, built in the early 1800s. Walking on a treadmill connected to two large paddle wheels, two horses were navigated by a captain steering the boat with a large oar in the stern. They were used to carry cargo, wood, and coal to the lake's many ports, and provided a viable means of transportation until they were later replaced by steamboats. The onset of steamboats saw a wide range of passengers on Lake Winnipesaukee. People from all walks of life would gather to explore the lake's many destinations. The Belknap was the first steamer on Lake Winnipesaukee and carried regular passenger trips until disaster struck in 1841. Towing 25,000 feet of logs, northeast winds blew the Belknap into a nearby island where it crashed into rocks and filled with water. For the next seven years, steamers were out of commission on the lake. In 1872, the Mount Washington boat, commonly referred to as the Mount, was launched in Alton Bay. With a length of 178 feet and top speed of 25 miles an hour, the Mount was a popular excursion and passenger boat, hosting regular trips around the lake. The Mount Washington can still be seen today and serves as one of the lake's many attractions. Boats eventually replaced steamers as a primary mode of transportation, one of the most famous of which is the Miss Winnipesaukee. Jack Irwin, son of the founder of Irwin Marine, recalls a bit of the history of Lake Winnipesaukee. And, uh, my dad uh, came up to uh, the Weirs, New Hampshire as a trumpet player. And he was, from, uh, he was born in Cambridge and lived in Dorchester. And uh, he came up and he played in Murphy's Band at the old music hall. At that time, the Weirs had a, had a big hotel, very much like the Mount Washington Hotel. And in 1924, I believe, I could be wrong on that date, but about that time, the big hotel burned down. And it also burned down the music hall. And the next year, my dad went to some of the old timers that used to go dancing in the music hall and said, if you let me borrow some money, I'll build a dance hall for you. So that's when he built the Irwin's Winnipesaukee Gardens. And he ran the boat business under the, under the gardens. The, the gardens was built out over, the, out over the lake. I can remember Fats Waller playing the piano. We had Duke Ellington. We had Lionel Hampton. We always had Duke Ellington twice a year. And he loved to play in our dance hall. And uh, we had Harry James. We, we, we had all the old, the old musicians. And we'd have them one night a week near the end, which would have been in the 60s and early 70s. Uh, we would have one name band a week for the, for the older people. And then the other five nights, we'd play for the kids. <laughs> 